So I'm gonna see if I can uh, go to my train quick and collect the money. And, uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so apparently, I guess I had to uh, fast travel to a random viewpoint in order for my uh, for my train to reload back into the map because uh, I couldn't find it. So. Yeah. And then I refilled my stuff. So. Refill my items. Medicine, smoke bombs, whatnot. The, uh, the mission is actually over this way. Don't know how far. It was supposedly fairly close to this, uh, viewpoint. So, let's check this out. What kind of name is rock anyway? You balmy bastards. Either a bunch of rats have been pissing around here, or I can smell the rocks. Fight on me. Go ahead and finish. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. Okay, cool. So, yeah, they don't mess with you unless you mess with them, so. That is pretty cool. Alright, and plus, I did conquer all the area, so technically, the blighters, they work for us, quote-unquote. But, I mean, they should be scared now. Evie visits Duleep Singh to learn if a second set of Buckingham plans exist. Cloak of Victory. Huh. So we are switching over to Evie, so we'll be able to see if there's any other... I don't know if I have a different outfit or anything for her, because I haven't checked on her in a little bit. So we got Jacob pretty much all... I don't know. I was going to say patched up, but that doesn't really make any sense. But either way, we'll see. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Cool. I mean, not cool. This mission doesn't sound very great, but... Okay. Uh, all right. So she's got some new stuff. Let's get uh, Well, let's get rid of this stuff first. So I thought we already did that, but okay. All right, inventory, capes. What is new? All oh, these killer lace, crimson wing, out of the blue. They're not necessarily new anymore. Lady Cyrel, Cyriel. I mean, I basically have explore the world. What does that mean? I will most likely look that up by what the to figure out what that means. Uh, okay, so, I mean, let's see, it has to be at least plus two and plus four. I mean, in these, oh, that's already upgraded. Yeah, that won't do it. So, then this is the next, that's already upgraded too. So, that's alright. Um, and what do we have? Eveline, Elise... Nighthawk, Shao Jun. Hmm. That is pretty cool. But we do have the night, the nightshade cloak. Say what? What do I have equipped? Oh, Master Assassin. Decreased detection speed. Um. 
Oh, we don't have Bodica's Torque. I don't know how to get that, but that's okay. And one of these two secret, secret items is the, um, what do you call it? The steampunk outfit? I mean, the thing is here, let me show you real quick, because it doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, I know this is, I'm trying to record. That was for that. Uh, here, look. Installed Syndicate Steampunk Outfit for Eevee. I mean... Oh, this one is fine every... It's a mission... Oh, what the... Is it the Elise one? No. It's not Aveline. It can't be. Shalgit, no. Nighthawk, no. Dr. Daniel. Oh, duh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, wow, Voltaic Bomb damage by 30%. Actually, I do have that one then. Um, decreased detection speed. I mean, this one is really the coolest one. I mean, this one is just capacities that I don't really care about. Increased Cuckoo damage. That would be pretty good because that's what I'm using. This one too, but it doesn't look that cool. I mean, can you even wear cape? Yeah, they won't display capes. And I want to have my cape. I mean, yes, I understand the effects still work. I would maybe want to do this one, but what's the upgrade? By 30%? Damn, that might be worth it, but... Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, uh, we got the Eagle Splendor, which is the one that... Because we didn't get the blade for that one yet, and that's this will be the top one. Which, the attack will end up going up by whatever. Um, we got the that. That's the best pistol we've got. Best cape, um, in my opinion, the best uh, outfit right now. None of these other... Crimson looks pretty cool. Maybe we should just have them match. Yeah, we'll, bo we'll have Crimson on for both of them. And that's pretty much it. Alright, cool. So, yeah, I know we wasted a little bit of time, but... What a mistake. Oh, because, you know, she's upset about the the Henry thing. Okay. Steal a carriage without entering the courtyard. Don't let the royal carriage's condition, condition drop below 50%. Okay. So, what we need to do is... Let's get some police locked on here because that's who we are going to be worried about. Hello? Can he... There we go. So how will I steal On your car now. carriage without entering the courtyard? So how about this? I mean, it's in there. Let's go around a little bit. We shall meet again. I mean, it's in... Okay. Sorry. Just thinking. Because this is all in. On your now. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Hup, hup, hup. What the? Hup, hup, hup. 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 Okay, I don't really understand borrow a royal carriage. Um, can we go around a bit more here?
Okay. I don't know. Where's... Wait, there's no royal carriage. Right there. Damn, dude, that guy's nuts. that I don't know about. Okay. It says, without entering the courtyard. This is the courtyard. How do I steal a carriage without entering the courtyard? And that's the one they want me to take? can kick the hat around yeah dude there's a feather in his head okay um I guess I only damage it a little bit. 
I have to go through here now? Oh, Jesus. I chose to go through here. Why would I be that stupid? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious, man. Climb up your hands. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Somehow I did it because I, I broke the line of sight. How far away? Not too far. And I have to bring it back, I believe. Because it's, you know, it's sent far off. Easy. The train station is and on the double. My son is anticipating my arrival. Welcome, now I'm sir. playing taxi. Your Highness, what a surprise. Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. Sweet. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. Okay. Uh, quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. Easy go. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. The hell? He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well. Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green know? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. That's it. All right. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. <laughs> this carriage is all kind of jacked up. Good day, sir. Why? What are you doing here? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you. Stuff is nuts. It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subjected to the yoke of an outsider's rule. My people are treated as slaves. I will die poor a thousand times over if only to see them free. Your passion moves me, Your Highness. What would you have me do? Take this copy of the wrongful treaty and defend my claim to the throne. Help disengage the Punjab from British rule. I shall speak up, but I am only one voice. I cannot promise anything but a show of support. That is more than enough. 
Thank you, sir. I totally forgot I was being kind, but I want to hear the conversations. It's important. I want to hear like what his troubles are. Only one more remains to the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. What the? And when she cradled me in her arms in the Sam. summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. <laughs> when I lost my kingdom, it hurt. For truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again two years before she died. The summer long since faded. I miss her. I miss India. I love India because I love my mother. Will you ever return? I have petitioned the government several times, but they withhold their permission. Do not be fooled by appearances, Miss Fry. I am in many ways a prisoner. Perhaps we may work together more closely for your cause in the future. I would like that very much, Miss Fry. DLC. That would be cool. Okay, only one more. We haven't really gotten damaged these last two. So. You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. The Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility, and I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India, and certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank, but one must not tell lies to a king. Your honesty is most enlightening. When I become Prime Minister, I intend to push for peace. But it will be a long and slow process. And I am afraid I can almost guarantee you will never see India again. If my people are free, then my imprisonment shall be no burden. Perhaps your idealism is real. Although, after observing the tigers wandering the grounds of your lush, expensive estate, forgive me for doubting it. Hmm. Interesting. Much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Okay. Where, where is he trying to go here? The heck? Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad, broken even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. This guy trying to pick a fight with him? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my. Kill him! Kill the blighter! Dead little bitch. That's what happens. Freaking ass. 
think he can take on Duleep Singh from, of India? No way. He ain't Slow down. Get out of the way. Alright. Let's return this and. I freaking killed that guy, dude. Easy. Alright. Hey, boys, you can have your card back. Your carriage. Whatever you guys feel like calling it. I'm gonna slide it back into your DMs real quick. There you are. Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Easy. Excuse me. Getting out of here, boys. All right, nice. Was there a carriage like around the outside? I don't know. I don't know. Let's check out the Cloak of Victory. If it's something that I haven't looked at yet. Let me get the, into the sun here real quick. Okay. Who's seeing me? What the hell? I, I'm in a restricted area. How oh, stupid. Okay, here we go. Alright, uh, Evie's... No, wait. Who? Crawford. What's the new thing about him? Oh, it's Bio? That's not new. Alright, this must be in Evie's... No? Okay. The Royal Muse. I feel like I've been there for some reason. Alright, the cape. Cloak of Victory. This one is actually after that one. This is before the Royal Cloak. So... Let's check the uh, upgrade plus one plus two. So it's actually the same exact thing. Every assassin should be proud of who they are. Not the most discreet cloak to wear, but fortune favors the bold. I'm a victorious type of person. There's a secret one. All right, let's see how the cloak looks. Doesn't really matter. I mean, hey, I'm a freaking assassin. What do you think about that? Alright guys, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, a night to remember. Legendary Assassin Belt, so that'll be pretty cool. But yeah guys, that's going to be it. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every view that I get. And if you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. To keep up on all of my videos, I'll be uploading, you know, every day. You know how it is. Upload every day. Uh, but actually, I think this is going up on Friday. I'm sorry if this isn't Friday. Actually, yeah, it is. So, I upload every day, Monday through Friday. So, I will be back on Monday with another episode of, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think this is the last sequ uh, the last mission here. Because this is an assassination mission. So, that'll be interesting. And then we have World War One. And then I have these other DLC missions that I did not do on my own because I decided that I will be doing those on camera for you guys. Uh, I don't know, Charles Darwin or Charles Dickens. I don't know which ones I'm going to do first, but I will be doing them on camera for you after I finish the main story. But yeah, guys, other than that, like I said, that's it for this episode. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.